Devastating details in court today as the jury heard from Jalissa Thaller's boyfriend about the hours leading up to Thaller leaving with her son Eli Hart. No one would see the six-year-old alive again after that. Lou Ragus has covered this entire trial. He joins us now live from the Hennepin County Government Center. Lou. Hey guys, Robert Pickerainen was a highly anticipated witness because he was initially arrested with Julissa Thaller, then released once police realized he had nothing to do with the crime. His testimony was difficult to listen to, but very helpful for the prosecution. These images from 11:22 p.m. on May 19th, 2022 are the last showing six-year-old Eli Hart alive. In heartbreaking testimony today, Robert Pickerainen filled in gaps for the jury about what happened leading up to those images and what happened when Eli's mother, Julissa Thaller, returned to the apartment the next morning. Pickerainen testified while choking on tears that he and Eli were playing with kittens in Thaller's apartment at 11 p.m. on a school night when Eli started to get rowdy. Mom didn't like that, so she started hitting him, Pickerainen testified. He then told the jury that as he went to bed, Thaller brought her shotgun down to the car, came back and grabbed Eli and left. He woke up the next morning by Thaller doing laundry right after her first interaction with police. Pickerainen said he assumed Eli was at school. I said, where did you go? She was kind of like, I had to go do something. Prosecutors say after leaving the apartment, Thaller shot Eli nine times with her shotgun. The defense so far has not suggested an alternative theory other than that Thaller didn't do it. When questioning Pickerainen, they pointed out that he told police he didn't think Thaller could hurt Eli. I didn't think so, no. She was a very sweet person, he testified. Now, Pickerainen's opinion of Thaller has since changed. He told me after his testimony today that he wants nothing to do with her. He hopes she gets what she deserves and he hopes that she rots in prison. Now, this trial is expected to end tomorrow without Julissa Thaller testifying. We'll see if we have a verdict by news time tomorrow night. Back to you.